guys and welcome back to my channel this week's haul is a Shein haul I think I'm calling this a Shein vacation haul we all need a little R&R &R during the panorama so I just figured I'd pop into Shein I've never ordered from Shein actually this was actually requested by a couple of my friends for me to do a Shein haul um yeah I always figured it was like a um you get what you pay for situation but I found a couple pieces that I really love so if you're ready to see what I got from Shein keep on watching okay so the first piece I actually am wearing I know you wouldn't think of a robe when you think of vacation but if you're doing a vacation you know a little satin robe might be nice for the the hotel room or whatever so this is my first item I got it in an extra large you'll see in the cutaway that it it could have been longer I don't know I just like having a vision of it was in the 1940s when they have the long dressing gowns you know a little glamour a little glitz but I like this robe I think I'm gonna keep it it was only 20 bucks as well which is like super cheap and I think Shein always has coupon codes so it ended up being a lot less than that so yeah this is the first item I got it's a floral satin robe and I got in a size extra large I would say size up because you know you want it to cover your your bits and pieces so I'd say size up and yeah this is the first item keeping with the robes the second item is definitely my definition of old Hollywood it's a red robe you know I wanted to wear it with some red lingerie and if I take a vacation well I gotta get a day first but that's neither here nor if I ever take a vacation I will definitely be taking this robe this robe was only seven dollars which is insane I don't understand how Shein does their their item certain items like certain items that I purchased were final sale like this robe was a final sale but this seven dollar robe was final sale I got them both in an extra large this was seven dollars and I have no complaints about this like I thought it was gonna be really janky because I don't know how they can even make any money off of a seven dollar robe but I kind of love this also I, I'm not gonna be trying this on with no lingerie so you'll see it's tried on with something sensible but yeah if you like this color if you like the way this robe is hidden I'd say size up because you know you still want to cover up all your bits and pieces and yeah pick this up just trying to figure out if I wanted to do the goods the bads or the oh no's first I think that I am gonna go for the myth like right middle of the road I don't think I'm gonna keep them but I still like them and had they fit a little better so the first item is this green wrap top it is a crisscross Shein also has like a lot of words for their tops just like a twist front flounce crop top this ties across your body I know on the hanger it's not doing any justice I got it in a size large it was only $12 like their prices are kind of insane like $12 I guess $12 isn't so bad but $12 for this this also feels like very lightweight kind of linen-y it's 100% cotton um got in size large and it was just meh to me like I feel like it would be one of those things that I would be constantly readjusting so you'll see in the try on clip how how it works but I'm just very meh about this if you can tell a lot of my things that I, a lot of the tops that I got are very similar in shape this is another one this is the floral print crop top it also has that same kind of tie across top and I got this in a size large this was eight dollars I also believe this is 100% cotton no this is actually 100% rayon the problem with this top like I love it I even tied it around my bra so that it would be more secure but the material of this seems to slide a little and I am not one to want to show all my bits and pieces as I'm wearing an item I also don't want to be fidgeting with it all day I got this in a size large it's the floral crop wrap top um, the actual names will be somewhere around here um yeah so it's eight dollars it's a good top I like the shape 
but I don't like the material. Okay, keeping with the items that I was a little meh about, this, me showing this is not gonna let you know how this thing looks at all. This is this cutout split thigh high dress. I got it in a size large. I thought the large would fit me because it says it's eight to 10. I also saw, you know, I like to look at the try-ons of actual people wearing it before I purchase the item. So I thought this was gonna fit me because there was a much larger woman in this dress, but this dress is very tight on my arms and also shows my under boob. I think that's how it's supposed to look, but I don't understand how I'm gonna wear a bra if I wear this. This was only $11, which is really cheap, so I didn't really have high hopes for it. But, you know, some of the girls were killing this dress. So if you have less boobs, maybe a flat tummy, and don't mind all your thigh meat out, then I would say pick this up. It's also a different material than I thought it was. I thought it was gonna be a little bit um, thicker. It's kind of like, you know, t-shirt material. But yeah, I got this in size large. It was 11 bucks. It's going back because it doesn't fit my body the way I want it to. So another item I was a little eh about is this twist split thigh heist. Chan names are just ridiculous. I'm just gonna call this the twist thigh split skirt. This is a size large. I got it for $15. Um, like I said, Shein has a lot of coupon codes and it probably wasn't $15. But upon looking at it again, the model does have it sitting low on the waist. It's linen, but it's also viscose. So 30% linen, 70% viscose. I do, I am looking for a linen skirt. So I might still get this in a size smaller to have it sit higher up on my waist. I don't really like showing my belly button too much. I don't know why. It's a nice belly button. I've had it all my life. I don't know why I don't like showing my belly button. But I'll show you in the cutaway me pulling it up higher. I might even just keep this one and just put some darts in it to make it a little tighter around the waist. Because I really do like the skirt. It just, I don't like where it sits. So, it's a good skirt. If you don't care about showing your belly button, I'd go for it. $15 is not bad, especially for linen. All right, so this, uh, these two items I purchased together. It's weird that Shein has a lot of materials that are the same material, but they don't pair them together. I actually had to search for the skirt that matches this top perfectly. I got the top in a size extra large because it seemed like it didn't have a lot of stretch in it. I probably could have got it in a large. I got the skirt, which is basically just a sarong in a size large. I thought a lot of the skirts that I thought were skirts are turning out to be sarongs. Um, it's not giving me full outfit vibes. It's giving me more like beach cover up. So this outfit's gonna go back. One, because the top is too big and two, because I don't think I really have use for this sarong. Like the time's cute. Like it would be cute over a white bikini. But for the outfit that I wanted to work her for, it's not my vibe. The top was $10. The sarong or skirt whatever you want to call it was six dollars and like 50 cents so i think they both were on sale so for under 17 bucks if you want just a vacation look that's not so structured then definitely pick this up um go with your actual size for the top as well don't size up like i did um a couple things i thought were gonna be small actually ended up being regular size so didn't love this. It's still nice, just not for me. All right, so another item that I got that I didn't realize was a sarong is a chevron skirt. The skirt was kind of expensive for Shein. It was $17, I guess for normal people. That's normal price. But for Shein, it just seemed a little high. The top was on sale for like $5.50. Again, a lot of times the Shein items are not linked together like other things you might like. So I had to do a little searching for these two items to put them together. I don't have much to say about them. I got them both in a large. I think that was the largest size they come in. But again, I'm not so crazy about the sarong style of it. I wanted it to be like something I'd wear for dinner. And this is just giving me like, you know the, you know the ladies that um, pass out the ladies in Hawaii? It's giving me that vibe. And not as structured as I want so 
for $22 if you want a more relaxed fit this is a nice nice option but for me I think it's gonna go back all right and this item actually surprised me this is their basic cap sleeve top I am looking for a lot more things in brown I don't know why I just think they look really good this was only six dollars it's very thick for what it is it's very good quality for Shein I'm assuming Shein has a whole bunch of janky pieces I think I did pretty good in quality quality wise on the things that I chose but um yeah I think this is just gonna go back because I probably need a bigger size like it fits me, but when I lift my arms, it shows me my bra, and that's not that's not that's not the wave I'm on. So, for six dollars, these are really good uh, basics to have, but size up if you can. Okay, earlier I said that that black dress was the eleven dollar dress. That black dress actually was nineteen dollars, and definitely going back. But this is the eleven dollar dress. This one, um, I actually waited for it to come back in stock in order to do this haul. This is eleven dollars. This is the Colt. Gaia dupe it's pretty good quality for for 11 bucks it's pretty good quality I do believe that I am going to sew the straps a little tighter so that I can wear it without a bra other than that I have no I have no complaints about it it has a little little split on the side it's giving body body got it in the largest size that they have and I might actually order this in the other color. It also comes in like a pink color that I thought was really cute. And I think it came in khaki and black as well. But finally, things that I am going to actually keep and wear often. Okay, I know I said that I don't like sarongs. Oops. But this little tie waist skirt is definitely my exception. This is the cutout. Like I said, she ain't got a lot of words. Cut out off the shoulder, O-ring, thigh, waist, skirt, set, whatever. I'm gonna write it up here the way they write it, but this little skirt set is super, super cute. It's probably a dupe for something more expensive. It looks kind of expensive, but for $18, I got this in a size large, and I absolutely love it. It also comes in like purple, green. I'm gonna still link this one. I think this color's out of stock right now, but they just keep bringing it back, and as they should. This is this is a cute little set and I love it. It won't stay on the hanger, but size large, it's finally something I'm gonna keep. Love this for me. Okay, so if you're looking for a Zara dupe, these Shein ones are pretty damn spot on. I got it in a size large. They do run a little small. Um, the large is a little tight on me, but it's gonna do what it do. They are a final sale as well. Like like I said, Shein has like certain things that are in a final sale. I believe the jewelry is final sale. I'm guessing the bodysuits. I don't I don't know what they deem as final sale because I think I got a bikini for my roommate and it wasn't final sale, but this bodysuit is final sale. I don't know. But I got a size large. It's $13. I love these little halter neck bodysuits. I like how it cuts in at the shoulder. And I have no complaints about this. I will also be keeping this. And yeah. Good dupe for the Zara bodysuits. Alright, so. I'm 50-50 on this whole outfit. The top I absolutely love, but the pants are gonna have to go back. Shein um, apparently has other brands that they carry as well. This is S Vetro, never heard of them. It's the extra large. I sized up thinking that because, I think it didn't have enough stretch, but if you're gonna get this, get your regular size. These pants were $20, and they have a little split hem, but, when I tried to unzip this little bad boy, pieces of the leather were peeling up the next to the zipper. So I don't think I'm gonna keep this. I also, I don't know. If you don't care about wearing your things a couple times and then throwing them away, then these pants are really nice, are not nice quality, they are in really nice style, but they're not a nice style for me. But the best part about the outfit, you're this little, me, me holding up ain't doing no justice to this little top. This is this crisscross top. It has that little bra built in, which I love. Any top I can wear without a bra is for me. I did, however, sew the, um, the top part a little tighter so that my titties wouldn't fall out. 
I got it in a size medium. It was $13. I am still debating on getting it in more colors. It comes in an array of colors. And it's just, it's just an amazing top. Like, I posted a little sneak peek of me in this top on my socials and a lot of people were asking me where I got it from and for $13, this is a here I am type top and I am here for it. So $13 for the top in a size ball, in a size medium and then $20 for the bottom in a size extra large. I paired them together. Um, keeping the top, bottoms are going back. Okay, so the last item, this is like my favorite item so I kept it for last is this floral sheared back long sleeve like i said they have a lot of words anywho it was 17 dollars. i got in a size large i actually paired it with my zara wrap skirt well wrap skirt zara thigh split skirt that i showed in a previous haul although this is black with cream and this is cream with black i think they go together quite nicely i kind of love it and as you can see, I'm loving the cream and black. It's my thing. And yes, I absolutely love the shirt. I think it looks way more expensive than $17. Like I said, they have, um, they do have coupon codes. So most things, really. Oh wait, see, New Yorkers, it gets a little bit warm. They want to bring out their bikes. They want to be loud. It's like 60 something degrees. But anywho, like I was saying, love this top, size large. I have no complaints about it. I'm keeping it. $17. I also picked up a few accessories. Their earrings are really cheap. As you can see, I've been wearing these throughout the video. These geometric earrings. Uh, maybe I'll come up so you can see them. I absolutely love these. These were $3, which is insane. I also got these cutesy little beaded numbers. I have these in white that I think I bought from AliExpress, but these absolutely love and they have a weird closure as well these were like four dollars and fifty cents i'll link these also below so if you watched my last haul at my h&m haul i got some white mules so i thought i would get like a cheap little cute bag to go with it because i know this is gonna get filthy i didn't want to spend a lot of coin on it so this particular bag was ten dollars it comes with a cute little strap you can't put it across your shoulder i guess it's just like a little top handle situation and it also has the crossbody bag, crossbody bag, <clears throat> crossbody strap. So if you want to be hands free, you can for $10. Definitely good quality. I will say though, this little tassel thing did fall off when I took it out of the packaging, but I just clamped it back together. But for $10, what you gonna do? And the last item, I'm still a little iffy about them. Like, I love Colt Gaia. I love all things Colt Gaia. Like you can see, I got that Colt Gaia knit dress dupe. But I also got these particular shoes in a size 40. I have fat feet. I know I got fat feet. It's a thing. This particular shoe is in a size 40. If you have wide feet, this is wide feet friendly. I do love the sculptural heel of it. It was only $26. Like I said, Shein does a lot of coupons, so I did not pay that for it. Their quality is what you expect their quality to be. It's not like a leather shoe. It's not great. It's not awesome. It's not amazing. But for pictures, but for brunch, it's cute style. And I'm not mad at it. $26. We you gonna do? All right, so let me put that over there. If you have made it this far, you have made it to the end, boo boom. We made it. I do appreciate your support. I appreciate you watching me to the end. This is a pretty short haul. Like I swore I had like a ridiculous amount of things, but when I put them on my rail, it wasn't as much as I thought it was. But I will be shopping at Shein again. I absolutely love their accessories, like their earrings and their little bags. I feel like you get a lot of bang for your buck. Um, I'm still gonna try to do more of the off the shoulder puffy sleeve crop top situation. I just will look at the material of it because I do like the black and white one or black and cream one. The other two, the material just didn't work for what they were. But yeah, I don't I don't mind Chien. It's a little janky, but you know there's some gems in there, and I'll try it again. So if you like this vacation haul, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. 
and I'll see y'all later. Bye!